Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, an approaching cold front responsible for some of the scattered showers and even the rumble of thunder this morning and again this afternoon. Now, our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, most of the activity has pretty much fizzled out or moved offshore. However, there's one more lonely shower out across, where is it, down towards our coastal Connecticut. This may clip the southern part of the state in the next uh, hour to uh, half hour and a half, especially along the south shore. But at this point, it's more the exception rather than the rule. We don't have any widespread rains headed our way for this evening. But the above normal temperatures will continue. And it's the kind of situation over the next several days where we're not expecting these uh, all-day rains, where it's raining nonstop from sunrise to sunset, though on a couple of days this week, we do have the chance for a few quick uh, passing showers during the late afternoon hours. A blend of clouds and hazy sunshine in Providence. Since the showers have moved out and the sun's come back through the clouds, the temperature's actually gone up a degree, now to 78, with a west breeze at 17. That is a drier wind direction, so what we'll notice later on this evening and during the overnight, the humidity level is starting to come back down. Temperatures range from close to 80 in Johnston and at West Bay Manor in Warwick to only 65 at Bank Newport in Newport. A little wind off the water responsible for that now. Temperature coming in in the mid 60s you can see inland areas away from the ocean. Temperatures are well into the 70s now, close to 80 degrees. Satellite and radar composite shows that the last batch of showers, this narrow line that came through about an hour ago, associated with this cold front. The front moves offshore, the humidity goes down, the skies clear out this evening. There is a second cold front back here, and this may act as a trigger around this time tomorrow with just a brief isolated shower or thunderstorm. It's one of those days tomorrow where most of the time it's actually dry. For this evening, partly cloudy at 7 o'clock, 73. We're clear at 11 o'clock at 66. Overnight tonight, mainly clear and dry as temperatures drop through the upper 50s. Nice start to the day tomorrow. Kids heading out to school, you're heading out to work, looking at some sunshine. Temperature already at 66. So setting up for a warm day, not as humid. Upper 70s should do it for high temps with some sunshine. Very late in the day, I'm thinking sometime after 4 o'clock, especially north and west of Providence, a brief ice isolated shower or thunderstorm. Here's the situation for your Tuesday afternoon. Looking at readings uh, around 70 inland, uh, actually 70 along the south shore to the upper 70s to lower 80s across uh, inland areas. So the coastline will be a little cooler. And again, a shower chance sometime after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So most of the daylight hours are actually dry. Looking good for Wednesday. Sunshine, warm and dry at 78 degrees. Seven-day future cast shows again a late afternoon uh, shower or thunderstorm on Thursday. But again, Again, we stress that most of that day looks dry and rain-free as well. Uh, temperatures uh, start to cool off a bit on Friday with some showers. The best chances right now for Friday would be Friday night into Saturday. At this point, we're thinking Sunday is the dry and noticeably cooler day with a high temperature on Sunday at only 60, but at least we've got uh, some sunshine. So every now and then, each afternoon, a late afternoon thunderstorm, but most of the time it's not raining at all. Okay. Coming up.